So this is our mode of transport for the day. So it is a Land Rover and it's from 1995. After our little break in the cafe, we've decided not to take the cable car back down because we're going to get the toboggans. Hi everyone and welcome to our channel. We are Hannah and Johnny, also known as Finding Our Adventure. In 2020, we converted our Ford Transit to live in full time. Since then, we've been on an endless adventure with our two cats, Tia and Skye, exploring, living and working in our tiny home. Join us each week for a new episode of Finding Our Adventure. So welcome to part two of our time here in Madeira. We've just arrived back in Funchal, which is the main city on the island, and we are on the cable car up to the top of the hill to go and see um, some beautiful gardens. And it's very warm weather today, it's very humid, the sun's out, and um, yeah, I'm just gonna go and explore the beautiful city. So we've just come off the cable car and we are at Monte Palace Gardens and it's beautiful here. There are palm trees everywhere. It just feels really green and lush and lots of like really cool spots. So we're just gonna go around and explore now. So the gardens here are massive. We've just been walking around. There's beautiful like waterfalls, pools, bridges. It's really, really stunning. There's lots of um, like, this is like a big monstera. It's almost like the jungle's like overtaken like a really cool garden. Uh, some random like terracotta guys just here, like statues everywhere and it's very very pretty so I would definitely recommend it. We've just walked down even further into the gardens and we've just come across some flamingos just chilling in a lovely little pond and there's also some fish as well so I will show you them now. So we've just made it outside the gardens and now we're just having a nice little break. I've got some fresh orange juice and we've got beautiful views behind us with the cable car. After our little break in the cafe, we've decided not to take the cable car back down because we're going to get the toboggans. And if you know anything about Madeira, these are the famous toboggans on the little wooden sleds that go all the way down the hill, all the way back down to Funchal. So we are super excited. It's going to look a bit sketchy, but it's going to be a good fun at the same time. They've got some great outfits on Yeah, it looks like so much fun. <laughs> Okay.
So one of the guys has just dropped his hat, so we've had to stop. And he's just gone to get it. Where's that all? So the toboggan takes you the first two kilometers down the hill and then you have to walk or get a taxi after that and it's a pretty steep hill so our legs are burning but we're almost back at the hotel now and I think what we're going to do is we're going to get a taxi to take us to a waterfall tonight for sunset. We've just made it to the waterfall that crashes over the road. We're going to wait for the sun to dip a little bit lower so we get some golden light and then we're going to get some photos and video hopefully under the waterfall and we're hoping the queue dies down a little bit because there is quite a few people. So fingers crossed we do get some really cool shots in a bit. So we have made it to the Campo restaurant this evening in Funchal and our mains have just arrived. We have got a T-bone steak which is absolutely massive. We're going to be sharing that this evening. And we've got loads of sides, we've got chips, vegetables and some tomatoes. And we had some starters as well which were delicious. But the food so far has been incredible. Good morning everyone. So we've woken up with um, a bit of a cold, so sorry if we sound a bit different. But we have been driving in the Land Rover this morning, which has been so much fun. We've been going up the mountains, around these really incredible roads through loads of trees. And now we've just gone to the um, west side, of, is it the, no, the east side of the island. And it's the Dragon's Tail, I think it's called. It's a very dry part of the island. Everywhere else is very green and lush and lots of trees everywhere whereas here it's very barren and there's lots of red rocks and got a really incredible view just behind me of ocean and very dramatic looking cliffs. So this is our mode of transport for the day so it is a Land Rover and it's from 1995 and it's absolutely beautiful we have got some envy <laughs> we would love to get one of these one day but um, yeah it's been great so far and it's uh, taken us up some really really steep hills and it's perfect I think for the island of Madeira. We are still on the east side of the island and we have to stay to the east today because on the west side of the island there's the wildfires still burning which is really sad and apparently they were started on purpose which is which is really bad but we've just come to a rum factory and we're going on a little walk now and behind me here is a surfing beach there's lots of surface in the water the waves look really good and it's so warm again today so it'd be really nice to get in the water but unfortunately we don't have time but um definitely have to come back and explore this place it's actually quite hazy today in the air and you can smell um burning wood and i'm assuming that's from the fires over on the other side of the island and um, yeah, it's definitely a lot thicker the air, a lot more hazy and the views from the top of the hills are a lot, a lot more obscured than they were yesterday because I think the wind direction has changed slightly today so it's blowing this way but yeah, it's definitely, you can smell it really in the air quite strongly So we've made it to the rum factory in Porto de Cruz, I think it's called We've just been given some rum We've got a clear rum and a rum that is sits in the barrel and I'm going to take a cookie I can eat a cookie okay. So yeah, we're going to try the these and see what the they taste like the sugar oh, nice. thing, okay? And some cookies Cheers, cheers guys. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I think that went. Mm. <laughs> I think it's alright. We have made a quick pit stop for lunch and we are at Quinta de Fuero restaurant. It's got incredible mountain views and the ocean and our mains have just arrived and I've got a charcoal 
grilled chicken with chips and Johnny has got a tuna grill with chips and garlic bread. So we've just made it into a very traditional house near Santana and it is a original house that used to be lived in, not at the moment, but it feels like you step back in time. The front part of the house is over 200 years old yep. and this part is a bit years newer, old. so 70 years old, but it has got a lot of character. We're in the kitchen at the moment and it looks, looks like it's been left how it was maybe 70 years ago. Yeah, it feels, it feels like, very old. Yeah. Very retro. Wait till yeah. you see the bathroom. <laughs> this is the bathroom. Very dark. <laughs> it's got a very like kind of cottage feel to it. final viewpoint of our Jeep tour today. It's about 6 p.m. now and the weather is pretty chilly up here. We're pretty high up. It must be one of the highest points on the island and we're just going for a little quick hike before we jump in the Jeep and head back to the hotel. We've just got back from our Jeep tour, which was absolutely brilliant. So if you're in Madeira, don't forget to, to check out Brave um, Landers. They are incredible and they took us to some amazing places and the team are just really cool and really friendly. Um, but we've got to get ready for dinner now. So we just had a quick shower and we're about to head out the door. So this evening for our final meal, we have made it to Orta and it is a beautiful restaurant. Our main has just arrived. I went with the Mexican salad and Johnny has gone for the veal, which comes with potatoes and cabbage and it looks amazing. Good morning, so today unfortunately we're going to be leaving Madeira and we are very sad to be leaving but we've only just scratched the surface. We are very excited to potentially come back because we have fallen in love with this island and that is going to be the end of the episode this week. If you liked it, let us know in the comments what your favourite bit was, give it a thumbs up and we will see you in the next one.